Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. I'm very confused by this. How am I supposed to use this to figure out where people are going? Navigable waters. Contour lines. Uh, HUD icon filter can go. Just as data layers visualize important information about the game world, click on a layer icon to get more information. That bit down there, which is for this one. And it's right there that we want to go. So I, I do need to do something to do with this one. And it says I've got to destroy the... I've got to prevent the meeting. I've, I've So street traffic layer. How does street traffic... Traffic lights player owned. Right, so that, that's, that's player owned there, and I've got street traffic. That's my ones that I own there. That's, that's not really telling me very much. It's just that it's very good. That's, that's all we've got is that it's very good. So that's not giving me anything. And then I've got my own stations right here. Cargo layer. Commercial supply. Transport layer on here. The... I'm not really getting anything from those either. The strength of the color labels indicates how popular a route is, but it also shows how well a town's industrial commercial area is supplied with cargo. So I don't have any cargo coming in, and it doesn't really have any popularity on things. Destinations layer. This has got to be the one here. This layer shows the routes taken by the inhabitants to get from their place of residence to shopping or work. A distinction is made between public and private transport. The strength of the colour and the labels indicate how popular a route is. Use the filter to select a town to see exactly how its inhabitants behave. So we go here and we go to that one, the destinations layer. And what I need to do, so I can see the people coming in through here, it doesn't actually tell you where their destinations are. And then I got 28. So I got a load of people from here coming all the way up into uh, Kutsk, up here, and then they're coming around here. So I got 15 right there, and then that goes to eight. So they're going to there. They're, they're going in. Is is this region right here, isn't it? But that's public. They're using the public transport. They're on the public transport up to that point, and they're not going any further. And then I got another one here. 10 is 15 on that one. And 14 and 14. So if I've got so many people using this line right here and they're stopping here, it's actually going... Ah, the, the, the some sort of breaking off here. House of the Sable Breeder Club 3. Ah. 20 there, down to 14 there. That's a bit of a clue, that is. Let's get rid of that one. House of the Sable. I've got one. I found one. This is what we got to do. So I need to go around. I need to look for another one. Anything like that that is the House of the Sable Breeders Clubs. That's what we need. So we just need to look at major discrepancies on the route. And then we should be able to find it. So public transport there. 20 all the way through that was a 20 to 14 right there and there was nothing significant about that point 8 down to 14 right here so maybe there's something here industrial building so i've just got to find these so at least we've got a clue now on how this bit works so it's, it's down to the destinations one isn't it three four two four four five two six Something in here. That's some residential stuff there. Industrial buildings. It's finding some more of these sable house breeders. Sable breeders' houses. Eight, three. Right, there's a... No. Well, how am I supposed... Oh, wait, what's this? Residential, residential, there's, there's nothing in here. There's a couple more there. 
It might be that I've got to use some different filters in order to be able to apply the rest of it. Those are two all the way through. These are the public transport. House of the Sable Breeder Club right there. Like the filters aren't really showing very much on that. Let's see if I can find some other filters that show anything. That's the cargo layer. That's not showing anything. That one doesn't seem to be showing any differences between these. But I've got the house there. Land value. Ah, land value. That, that's absolutely worthless. That, that property there is worth nothing at all. That's the clue on that one. Is that it is just literally worth nothing at all. And it might be that that's how we find our other one as well. That This one over here we found with the destinations. Land value. Right, we've got some land value on all of it here. Except for that Sable Breeders Clubhouse. There is no land value to that one whatsoever. So I've, I've got that one. It's over there. That's house number one. Well, let's go, let's go on to you. Let's get rid of you. That one right there, we need to destroy that one. Right here. Just says configure, so there's nothing else to do on that one. Destroy that one. It's gone. Okay. Bulldoze can, that one can be gotten rid of. And I go there, and then we'll go back into here. I'll go back to land value. We'll see if we can clearly and easily see another house that is worth nothing. Because that's what gave that one away. I don't think it's going to be that easy, though. I don't think we... Oh, it is that easy. It's right there. Look, there's the other one. Destination is the same. Destinations... Well, there's not like a big giveaway there, mostly... Uh, but there is, I mean, it's, it's kind of stuck in the middle, but it's the same as the industrial buildings, I suppose. It's the land use, that's the one, it's the land use, that the, that's the layer that's given this one away. But anyway, that's the last one right there. So let's just press play on that one, and I've got you right there. Destroy the last one. What a relief. The subversive forces have been arrested. The danger is averted. The monarchy saved. Okay, right, ideal, that one's done. I now need to get some people going across here to the circus. That's our next task, is we want to get that. Uh, delivering steel is taking place, and supplying the second construction site is also taking place. So over here, I've got coal going backwards and forwards. Right here in the Baikal Steelworks, I've got stored 25 coal. I don't have any copper being stored. So they're going backwards and forwards. I need some extra ones doing copper on here. That's what we need on line two in there. So I'm going to just take one of those and clone selected vehicle. I'm going to add three more vehicles on there. And I'm just going to give them names very quickly. I've got Invent Gaming, TK Football Star, and Emil Wackerhagen. Right there is our next three names. So they are going to be out. They should, they're already running line two. So they're already out and running along. So they're doing just fine. What I want to do is build a bus stop over here. So I'm going to have to build a road across here first. So we're going to go to you. And I'm going to take a small country road. I'm not going to do anything more than that. We'll just have a take me home country road right across there. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Medium country road, perhaps? It's The problem is that it's too low. That is the issue right here, is that it's too low. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to have to, have to actually demolish that. Because I can't just demolish that. That's all going to have to go from there. And then I'm going to have to build a bridge right the way across. So we'll do that with the medium street instead. And I'll bring you over there. Like that. There. So I've now got a bridge going across the river like that. And then she's going to bring that road out a little bit. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to lower that one down so it's level. And I'm going to build that one there. 
Then I'm going to go to buildings and I'm simply going to have a bus tram stop on here. And it's going to go onto that side like that. One bus stop over there. Bring an audience to the circus. So I'm going to take this route. I'm going to have two vehicles running this route. So I'll go to you. Port Baikal Road Depot over this side. It's number two, isn't it? Yes. Right. Port Baikal Road Depot number two. Buy vehicles. I've only got the Drosh key at the moment, so I will buy two of those to run backwards and forwards. I don't need any more than that. These two bad boys right here are going to be... I haven't made a line yet. Well, it's going to be the next coloured line, so they will end up being orange. Because it will be the next coloured line. So I want to go there, and I want to create a new line, which is going to go from that station there over to there. That's it. Victoria Road, Victoria Street. That's what we'll do. Just run between the two so that we can get an audience heading over to the circus. And I will go back here to these vehicles. I will go into Road Depot in here. These need names. We've got Riley and Chino in here. Like that. And they can now be assigned to line six. Right, they're away. They're on line six. I'll go a little bit faster down here. So they're both out down this way. Let's zoom in a little bit. Fabulous colour on these. Absolutely fabulous colour. This is brilliant and wonderful and amazing. So I'm going to let that one speed up. The circus one is running there. I've got the train running right here. He's got nine bits of steel on board already, and he's going to run into there. I got 22 steel has been delivered to this first construction site over here. That one's about to run in and have another nine steel delivered into there. There we go. Van Schmastic. And then we're going to have a look over here, and we have got who's there over there. And he is bringing in 28 stone into the station over here for his first part in the grand scheme of things. Nice. There we go. And already, with that one, I've got little bits of the track actually progressing. And that's what's happening over here as well. Every time stuff is brought in, the track progresses a little bit further. I like that. That is a really awesome touch. I love that. I didn't even realize it did that. Peter Heap is bringing in another 8 steel. He's going to bring that in there and unload. And that's going to extend the track on round a little bit further. All the way up to there. So I've got another 21 steel. That's going to get up to there for 21 of those. And then the stone down this side, I will assume, is going to get over there. And it's going to the construction site cargo station all the way over there, right? All the way up the top. So it'll go right the way round the bay over here. So there's another 28 stone on its way up through for another load there. I've got also passengers going this way. Chino has got nobody on board. Riley has got nobody on board. Victoria Road has got nobody going to the circus either. Why can't they go to the circus? I want them to go to the circus. The circus would be a wonderful place to go. Uh, steel is being delivered. There we go. Ah, look, we got some oh, some new ones of those available. No major changes. Stone has been delivered in there, which means that the track is extending further. Steel has been delivered as well. He's nearly all the way up. Is that track going to go any further? That track's not going to go any further than there. I thought this one was going to go all the way up to there and then all the way back. So it might be that that one will go up to there, but this one won't quite reach all the way. Because that's only going to have another four. The steel is on its way down through again. I've got 16 steel on board this time. That's actually all the steel that we're going to need to make this track all the way up through. Right the way up to there. 16 steel. There we go. There's the 16 steel, and it's going right the way up and connected. Excellent. Task completed. Supply the first construction site. And we've now, the red line has moved, so we're able to build things within this line in here. So we'll probably be making use of that at some point. And bring an audience to the circus. How are we doing with that? 
Chino's got nobody on board. Uh, Riley has got nobody on board. Victoria Road. Nobody is coming to the circus. Why is nobody coming to the circus? Line four. I've, I've gone... The geopolitical situation is coming to a head. Trouble is brewing on the eastern borders of the Empire. Time is short. See to it that the route is completed in good time so that the necessary logistics infrastructure is ready if worst comes to worst. The Tsar cannot be disappointed under any circumstances. In other words, get going. Hurry up. Get everything that's needed here quickly so that the railroad is completed on time. Supply the third construction site with steel and stone. Right, I'm just going to pause that a minute. I need to get steel and stone up to here. So I've... Right. That one only goes as far as there. So I've got a choice. I can have a boat going across here. I wonder if I can build just... Why can't I just build a, a railway track? Let's, let's see if we can do that. My first question is, can I build a track across here? Prohibited area. Right, apparently we're not allowed to do that. That one is not an option, so we are going to have to make use of the boats. I'm going to have to bring boats going across here. I've got the Bakelisk Harbour there. I've got Port Bakel Harbour over there. I'm going to need a route running between the two. And that's going to be taking stone from here over to here. From our train that is running up and down over here. Then the steel train is running from here up to where well, it doesn't need to run to there anymore. So now the, the steel, it does need, I need to stop here with the train. But I then need to continue on up even further than that. Or, no, better idea. I bring it to here. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring a track coming out of there. And that's going to connect into there like that. I'm going to get another train. And the other train is going to be running into here. This one's going to bring steel to here. Which is just going to stop at the cargo station. Because that's a storage point, isn't it? And then the stone will be brought over to here as well. Which will go to the cargo station and... Material is constantly disappearing from the construction sites. And just what might be the cause? There are rumours that a mysterious creature is prowling around the tiger. A well-known shaman supposedly knows what to do. Uh, okay, except... The shaman can be found on a mountain in the southeast. Right, we need to find a shaman on the mountain in the southeast, and... Right, he's all the way over there. I'll get to him in a minute. I want to build these stations first, so we'll, we'll deal with the shaman in a minute. First up, we're going to set up a new um, train running between these two. It's going to be a big, powerful train. And we're also going to want a boat running across here as well. So we'll start with vehicle manager. As you know, that one. And we will go line there. And I will set a line from Port Baikal all the way down here to construction site cargo station. I don't need anything more than that. And then I will go into the Port Baikal train depot. We will buy a vehicle in here. And I want a nice, big, powerful train. I'm... I like this one. I do like this train, but I'm kind of thinking that the Russian class OB right here is, is, is pretty good. Even though the tractive effort, I, I don't know what the difference is with the tractive effort. Because um, that one's 130 kilonewtons, whereas this is only 95 kilonewtons. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm not quite sure which one would be the better one. Uh, I'm thinking we go with the OB on this one. I will have that one right there. So there is, is 1.6 million per vehicle on that one. And then I want to go for some wagons. We need some cargo wagons down here. And we've got to be carrying steel and stone. So flats, uh, that one there takes war material. This one takes steel. The gondola takes stone. The box car is war material. Flat car with size takes the same. And a bigger gondola right there is the same as the previous one. So 
I'm going to need flat car with side stakes and I'm going to need the gondola. I need both of these running up and down. So we will have three cars of each, I think. One, two, three. So that's just gone to good on there. And then the gondola right here, one, two, three. And now it's gone all the way down to mediocre. I've got a capacity of 72. I think that's pretty good. I'm liking this. I mean, I'll go back and I'll have a look at these locomotives. You got this one up here. Uh, power, 300 kilowatts. That one's 440. There's only 310 kilowatts there. Uh, 240, 190, 140. So, uh, this, is, this is the best train that we've got. So we'll go with that one right there. And that particular one is going to be assigned to line 7. So I will just... Nope. Nope. Color. Line 7 color. Right there. That is Yes, that is the right color. Uh, and we also need to give you a name. Michael Maines right there is going to go rushing off onto line 7. Yes. I'm assuming that means he's going to line 7. Yes, Port Baikal Cargo Station. So let's just let him come out a minute like that. There he goes. That one's going out over there. And in he goes right onto this track. And he will stop there. And then he's away. So he's got nothing there at the moment. However... This train should now start bringing steel down to here so that this train will actually be able to do something. Let me go to you. You are bringing five of them over, and that should hold right here on this station. Now, that one there I don't think needs anything anymore. Uh, I've got the Port Baikal Harbour. I don't think that's going to need anything either. I think that all we're going to have is this one here. Peter Heap is going to come in and he's going to deposit his load right in there. And we've got five waiting on line seven. So he's going to work his way around like that. And then what I'm going to need to do next is I want to set up another new line like this. And that line will go from Bakelisk Harbour over to Port Baikal Harbour over there. So there's those two. And then going to, to slow that down now. Uh, we're going to go into here, and we want the shipyards. We want to buy a vehicle. We've got the Wilhelm 1, which has two compartments with a capacity of 70 altogether. And then I've got you, two compartments with a capacity of 110. So we'll take everything, loading speed 40, loading speed 20. We will take this one right here. What is the speed? Top speed 30, 22. Yes, we will definitely have the Klondike right here. So that one I'm going to buy for 1.13 million. That one is going onto line 8, so therefore it needs line 8 colouring. Like that, it's just some little squares on it. And we, of course, need to give it a new name. So this is no longer going to be ship 1. This is going to be Anders Runson. If I can spell that correctly. Uh, there, Anders Runson. Right there. There's that one down. And then I can go like that and set you onto line 8. So you're away onto there. Unable to find path to stop. No path for big ship. What? A path has been found, but only small ships are allowed on this path. Are you kidding me? After all that, I've got the wrong one. That, that one there is no good for it. I'm only allowed to have the tiny ship. Okay. Anders Runson, you are going to be sold. Hang your head in shame. You have failed at your first task. Which was to simply go from one harbour to another. Uh, it, it, that, that is absolutely unacceptable. So, uh, Anders Runson, sell, selected vehicle, yes. I think I might have two... Sh no. No, I think one ship going backwards and forwards would be enough. So, as we can have that one, looks like we're getting one of these. Right there. This one. I will... Hang on. Let me do that. We will colour that one green, like it's supposed to be. There we go. And we will also name this one. Let's try this again, shall we? Anders Runson, you get another chance. Don't mess it up. Right. We go to there, and then we go to line eight. That's more like it. Anders Runson is on his way. There he goes in all his magnificent glory. Which means that all we're doing is we're waiting on a train to come from over here. Train's on its way back. 
That train has got 19 stone on it. Who's there is bringing 19 stone over here to Anders Runson to load up, who in turn is going to transport it across the bay, who in turn is... Um, and then this load will take it up here. I've got five steel on board right there. That's it. Just five steel. Why have I only got five steel? Do I, I need to have more going up here, I think. The coal going across here is doing well. We're, we're making a boatload of money out of that. You in here. I got four steel on there. Why are you, why are you going slow? Stored 26. Stored zero coal. Right. Coal over here. That one right there. He's made 32,000. He comes over here. He loads up five coal. And then he goes over there. And the other vehicles, they're bringing some in. So then he goes over to there and he unloads. And then he comes back over this. So he's, he's doing this constantly. Five coal, five coal all the way over. Which is going over here to Port Baikal. Which should in turn be bringing steel. I got nine right there. So why is he taking a while to do this? He should be going at a reasonable rate. Should be. How much are these guys bringing? He's bringing six in at once. See, no, he doesn't get slowed down by having the other ones in here. We'll leave it like that. We'll hope that that is actually working. Now we want to have a look at the circus bit. Are we bringing people over zero of five? Bring an audience to the circus. I don't appear to have brought anybody to the circus just yet. Charts. Zero. Oh, six. No. Right, I'm not quite sure what's going on there. I do not appear to have brought anybody to the circus. Why is nobody going to the circus? Right there, line four, I got seven people wanting to travel it. Here, Victoria Street, to the circus. Nobody's coming here. I've got the bus stop. There is nobody coming up here to the bus stop. That doesn't make any sense. Why is it... Let's have a look. That's not actually, like, utilising the circus, is it? Do I... Let's, let's slow that down. Obviously, I've, done, I've made a slight mistake on this bit, and I need to change it around. So I'm assuming, therefore, that I want to go to a building and I want to take a bus tram station like this. And that's what I need to do. I need to get to... Unless I need to... Something like that, maybe. Let's rotate you around a little bit, like this. Bring you... That's what I need to do, I think. There, look. Bring that one in like that. If I rotate that round, and I drop that one in there like that, and then I go here and I get rid of that one, line six should... Cancel that. Go there. Uh, that should now be line six. Oh, no. Get rid of that one. Add station. It's because it's a different one rather than um, just one of those being moved. Uh, Kutz Holt over there. That's what I need to do. Right there. What are you? Terminal 1 not combinable. Huh? Why... Uh, I think I may have removed the wrong one. I want to bring it back to this one. Well, unfortunately, folks, that is all we've got time for today. Sometimes even our fantastic pilots, train drivers, and lorry drivers, and bus drivers, and boat drivers, and all the other drivers need a little bit of rest. So while they rest up and have a cup of tea... If you've enjoyed the episode, could you please head down below and give us a like? And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.